Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. Today we got uh, Gunslinger Suicidal Monster Ball. You may hear some uh, some background noise as my mother is home right now at three o'clock on a uh, on a on a Friday, which is very unusual. Um, but she's getting to cleaning and whatnot, so this is the time I have to record. There might be uh, there might be some background noise with a uh, some banging and uh, knocking and worrying from the vacuum cleaner, but it's uh, it's all right. So, all right. I had uh, I went out shopping today. I had to go grocery shopping for um, what am I stuck on? What am I? What am I? Oh yeah, there's the thingy there. I remember. So I had to go out shopping today. I had to get some groceries. Uh, I got to go out again later, but I'm <laughs> honestly, I have to go out tomorrow morning because we have the uh, the pest uh, uh, the pest assassin dude coming tomorrow to kill all the pests in our house. Not that we really have any, but. Uh, like that first round, kind of got rid of most of them, as far as I can tell. We haven't, uh, we haven't had any noticeable issues with uh, with the flies or the ants since he came. But uh, just as a uh, just as a precaution, just make sure everything's all good. He'll be coming back again uh, tomorrow morning, so I'm out of the house tomorrow, and I figure, hey, you know, I may as well, uh, I may as well go out tomorrow as well, because I forgot to get a couple of things while I was out earlier. Um, well, I, I I planned to. Uh, to go back to Walmart later for like clothes and uh, socks. Okay, the stream's dead. We're just gonna put on an hour of windswept instead. This is okay. So uh, I, I plan to go back to Walmart later tonight before they close because they close at like 11 or whatever. So I can leave at 10. It'll be nice and cool. Probably not too packed. I can go and do a little bit of clothes shopping, get some, I don't know, cooler clothes and. Um, some general necessities if you, if you pick up what I'm putting down um, socks <laughs> uh, but then I, I got home at one ish made some uh, made my food for the day because I'm doing the uh, the whole intermittent fasting thing by a necessity rather than choice um, just cause I don't have time to, to cook in the uh, in the evening I just have the, the one time really a day to cook so I, uh, I do that, but I, uh, I cooked my meal for the day. And now it's uh, after I've cooked, it's like three o'clock after I've cooked and cleaned up, you have to change the tablecloth and clean up the kitchen a little bit. Um, so it's just, it was just a day where, you know, you have to do a little bit of cleaning, right? Some days the place is a little bit of a mess and you just gotta, just gotta kind of clean it up a little bit, right? So that was today. And uh, now it's about three o'clock, I'm back to recording and I'm like, you know, I really just, I don't feel like going out later tonight. So who knows? Who knows how I feel later on? Um, but I'm like, I just, uh, I feel like I want to sit in my room with the fan on and uh, kind of just waste away the night. <laughs> it's kind of my thing. And then tomorrow when I'm out anyway, because I have to go out, um, I figure, hey, I'll just, I'll just, uh, I'll just do it then, you know? So I planned it. And I should have gone, but I did forget to get one thing. I was at the uh, I, was a, I was at the grocery store. We got a liquor store right next to the grocery store. I wanted to pick up some more beer because I'm out, and I really like my beer. But uh, I forgot it, and I uh, I realized when I got into the car, and I could have just gone back and got it. But I'm like, eh, the beer is not not that important. I can I can get by without a little bit of beer. It's fine. I'm not a big drinker anyway. I'll, I'll have like. Uh, a single beer or maybe two beers every few nights and that's like me really heavily drinking <laughs> you know that that's me getting like oh yeah this is a this is a I'm a drink a lot this week kind of thing so I don't drink that much <laughs> but um, I want I want to see ginger beer cuz I've uh, I've been really wanting to get the raspberry ginger beer because all I've been able to get is this uh, like the just plain ginger beer, which it's fine. I like it. It's good. I'll uh, if that's if that's if that's all they got, then I'll take it. I will happily, you know, be contented with uh, with just that. But I like the raspberry one as well. They used to have an orange ginger beer, like an orange infused ginger beer thing, which was super good. But uh, they just they don't carry it at all anymore, as far as I can tell. I might see if I can like order it online or something. Maybe I don't know. 
I am working on getting a new knife. I'm going for a. Uh, I'm look, I've been looking into knives a little bit, and uh, I think what I want is a Santoku knife. Santoku knife. San. I don't know. It's like a Japanese chef's knife. I just think they look the coolest, honestly. Like out of all the the chef's knives that I was looking at, they look the coolest without like sacrificing performance. Because you can go for like some really cool looking chef's like knives. But, like, at that point, you're starting to sacrifice a little bit of, like, being able to use it. Like, if I want to chop up and down, or if I want to rock it, you know, I can do either of those with a Santoku knife. But, uh, if I get, like, a, like a Chinese knife or something like that, I think, um, it's only, it's going to be a, a perfectly flat blade, and there won't be any ability to rock it at all. And I kind of like using the, the, the tip to cut up, like, uh, veggies and stuff, generally. Get a little bit of a rocking or, like, a like cutting motion kind of thing and the uh, the curve kind of uh, helps to uh, to make that happen so uh, if I if I get rid of that entirely and just have a perfectly flat blade I feel like I'm losing a little bit of uh, a little bit of performance leaving some performance on the table right and uh, so not not going for that but I've got uh, I've got a sand token knife that I'm well I'm gonna be buying one I haven't decided what one I'm gonna be getting yet but Hopefully, uh, hopefully some. I don't know. Could be fun. Doesn't have that stupid... Like, uh, a lot of knives have, like, that thing at the base of the blade where you can't, uh, remove the metal. So it, like, just ends up weirdly turning into this, like, fillet knife almost as you sharpen it over, like, years. Um, <laughs> but, like, eventually it's like a fillet knife because you got, like, that big base and then the the rest of it's kind of like sharpened down to a down to a very thin 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 point and uh you know i just i don't like it i like it to be uh to have not that base so that i can continue to uh have control over the blade and not have it like stuck on stuff you know so the santoki knives do not have that i don't believe so that's another reason why i've decided to go for that one over like a, a typical German chef knife or a Guto or anything. So, I don't know. I have no idea, like, what knives, uh, what knife I want or, like, what the different types of metals really mean or, like, any of that. Like, I'm, I'm a total novice to, to knife enthusiasm, really. I like knives. I like knives quite a lot, but I haven't, uh, I haven't really, like, researched too much about them yet. I'll have to as I'm gonna be buying my own knife like sets and I wanna make sure that I have like good sets, right? So I'll have to start looking into it, but Yeah, the grocery stores, they've got uh you have like lanes, right? And you know, you go up one aisle, down the next aisle, up the next aisle, down the next aisle, you know, you just you keep doing that. And if there's nobody in an aisle like, I'll happily go the wrong way. Like, there's nobody there. You know, it's fine. It's, nobody's really inconvenienced by me going the wrong way, right? I, uh, I am unperturbed by the, uh... By it, so, uh... I'll, uh, I'll do it. But! If there's people in the aisle, you don't walk towards them and then past them, right? You have to walk in, uh, in a, you know, single-file line kind of thing and get to the end of the, 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 the aisle and... Call it a day. There you go, right? But a lot of people, when you're there, they just they'll walk right past you as you're, you're going on the other. They'll walk the wrong. They'll walk the wrong way. They'll go down the. Uh, they'll just walk right past you. And the other thing is, is a lot of people will just kind of stand there in the aisle, right? They'll just they'll just stand there. And I get it, like you want to do your shopping and like look for stuff, but if it's like. Um, single file lines kind of thing like we gotta we gotta keep it moving if, there, if there's a lineup you got I think it's common courtesy to I mean get out of the way you know like uh, there's this lady at the the grocery store today I waited probably like two minutes for her to look at some at some uh, like soup stocks and I'm like yeah I just I just I can't really <laughs> I don't have time. So, uh, you do the, the, the awkward, like, 
squeezing up against the aisle as the other person squeeze up is up on the other side of the aisle and I'm like you just know what you're going for when you're going to a grocery store because it's just it's really inconvenient for everybody and like it's that is I don't get how you could do that either like when I go to a grocery store I don't I don't okay I don't know what I'm getting when I go to a grocery store but I don't have to deliberate on when I'm there you know like if you're going to be the kind of person who has to go there and then be like, Oh, do I want the chicken broth or the veggie broth or the mushroom broth? I'm not sure. Which do I want? Like, just think about it before you go. Just, just have a quick... What I'm, Do I want chicken broth, veggie broth, or, or mushroom broth? You know, which, which do I want? When I'm there, I just like, I need a broth. Yeah, chicken will do. You know, like, I don't, I don't think about it too hard. I just I just take whatever I, need, I, I see and make some food with, with whatever I got. It's fine, but... Some people, man, they uh, they take their sweet old time with it, and it's uh, mildly frustrating. Anyway, that is going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future, comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.